Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's not. So, I've been doing a little bit of thinking. Um, I know sometimes this type of year is a little bit hard for some people, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. The days are cold, they're wet, they're dark, seasonal depression kicks in, just everything. So, um, I was thinking, and, um, I don't know if this is going to work out, but I wanted to give it a shot, and who knows. So I have in front of me some supplies. I have some envelopes. A stack of them, quite, actually. envelopes in front of me and um, I was going through some of my art craft stuff and I have a lot of it too much I don't hardly ever get around to using them anymore you know just old scrapbook stuff um, a bunch of masks you can decorate I mean I'm talking I got a lot of random art stuff I should probably figure out how to donate some of it, but I have this just watercolor, watercolor pages, and I was thinking about how some people are probably feeling a little down and out, so this is one of the, uh, ideas I came up with, which is a bit silly, I suppose, but here we go. So I have a stack of quotes as well. And they're just like positive affirmations. This one says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. When our actions and decisions today will shape the way we will be living in the future. I mean, there's just a bunch of them. So I thought I would write some of these out on the pastel watercolor pages in front of me. And if you want participate I will I hope this doesn't get too crazy expensive but um I will send it to you so you have to message me um through you know I've got my email listed I've got Instagram all the things so um if you feel comfortable putting your address out there in the world I will mail this to you. So I'm going to write a quote on one of these things, put it on a envelope, stamp it, and mail it to you. A little bit silly, I think, but who knows? Maybe that'll put a smile on your face when you get it, and who knows how long it'll take to, um, you know, have everybody receive them. That'd be kind of a fun thing to track, too. So in order to get the paper in the envelopes. I first need to cut them because this is not not the right size. So I feel a little odd doing this, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but who knows? This might be really cool. So, I'm gonna cut this to 
towards the seven. The other thing that's kind of funny about my uh, paper cutter, you know, you have a paper cutter and the idea is it's supposed to help you cut paper straight. My paper cutter isn't actually straight. <laughs> Just know that these are not going to be perfect square edges and all that lovely, lovely thing. Does that bend or no? I gotta cut that down. So, here we are. Should I cut them all and then write them all? They're double sided, so it doesn't really matter, you know, which one you look at. It'll still be very pretty. And I'm sorry in advance for my wretched handwriting. Okay. I think we cut a couple of them. And then I'll write on them. So I'll do like 10. I really don't think more than 10 people will feel comfortable giving me your address. So I guess that's what we'll do. You know, I've got that um, P.O. box, right? So... I feel comfortable giving people my address, but not everybody does. Understandably so. Safety first. So, I just kind of wanted to spread some positivity. And, I have a little chat about some of the things I've been you know, thinking about. So I'm gonna adjust the camera. It's kind of a nice sound, isn't it? A little bit. These are not gonna be the same, each one of these are gonna be a little different. I can tell already that they don't <laughs> line up. You will know you will have an original Moses Mar card or something. Two thousand and twenty-three. At the time I'm recording this, it's still early January, and people are still in the motivated manifesting their future, and it's something that I've now seen kind of go around social media a little bit. This idea of manifesting your future. And, you know, I've heard of it certainly in the past, but I've never quite heard of it in some of the contexts that people are using it now. Um, you know, sit down and write a page on what you want your future to look like, you know, get very detailed, all those things, and, um, I don't know, maybe we'll do it, maybe I'll try, at least I, I can try. So, if you could have a future of your own design, what would that look like? And... The idea is you're supposed to get as detailed so that you can really see it. It becomes tangible, it becomes real, which I love. 
not always something that's easy to do, right? Kind of looks like a sunset or a sunrise. So I am going to do this. I started to a little last night where I started to sit and write and identify some of the things that I want to improve on some of the things that um, I feel inspired by, how I want my life, all of that. I don't know if anything will happen, but I do believe in the power of positive thought. How many do we have? One. there with the cutting portion. So what would you do? What do you want your life to look like? I want to help people in some fashion. I do that as my career in respiratory. But I do wish that I could travel and have a little bit more flexibility. So if I could find a career that I could um, go to different countries, travel for it, and really take my time. I've thought about doing travel blogging, but I'm a little shy on that concept. I don't feel like I'd want to sit down and write about it all, but maybe. So here's a green one. Look how pretty this green one is. But those are kind of out there dreams, they're not dreams that I have for right now. So right now, I fell off some of the wagons that I had been trying to hold on to last year in terms of um, my finances and my um, eating habits and fitness. So those are definitely things I'm going to be wanting to focus more on. There we go. Because I work night shift at the hospital, my sleep pattern is awful. Horrendous. Um, I don't have a sleep pattern. And um, because of that, there's been studies that show how that ages you faster and that's just really not good for your body and your brain and everything. So that does kind of weigh on me a little bit. So ideally, in by the end of this upcoming year, so I've got one year, I'm hoping to switch to a day position where I can still do my job, but do it with <laughs> more regular hours. Which will be weird. <laughs> I've always been a night owl, but a night owl staying up till 1 to 2 versus staying up till 8 o'clock in the morning is very different. And I can tell I'm starting to struggle a little bit more 
with it. So, if you work night shift, you understand the, uh, the struggle. And some people do really well on it. I thought I was, but I think I'm ready to add some years back onto my life instead of taking them away. Lost count, we're gonna have to count again. I've also started listening to podcasts that uh, I'm hoping will help keep me on track and inspire me. I have often thought that I uh, how do I put this? Growing up, I had this concept that everyone around me was smarter than I was, and instead of making that buckle, like giving, how do I say this, instead of using that to motivate me to learn more, it did the opposite and it frightened me away from, um, taking chances, taking risks, putting myself out there, um, and, uh, yeah, so, I'm hoping to work on some of my fears with intelligence and start learning more things so that I have, uh, the confidence. Let's count, shall we? One, two, I know very little about economics. Uh, I think I have a, you know, my perception of what I see around me, but I've never read any books about economics. So, listening to podcasts about politics, about economics, although well, to be honest with you, I really hate politics. don't like anything that divides people. I prefer to not go there. We're all human and we all struggle with the same battles, you know, not identical and surely not, but um, who hasn't felt lonely before, who hasn't felt insignificant and stupid and who hasn't felt love and who hasn't felt joy and we, we have the same struggles. The context may be different, but, um, so I don't really like politics because I think it just divides more than, you know, connects. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and focus on what could go right. I feel like because I basically said that, I was too afraid. Um, so maybe I'll write that one. That seems like a pretty good one. This one says, enjoy the little things. Simple and sweet. Don't put the key to your happiness in someone else's pocket. I'm reacting this way because I feel like that's the lesson I learned last year. I uh, relied very heavily on my significant other in a lot of ways. Um, and 
that did not serve me well. Every day is a second chance. I like that one too. New Monday, new week, new goal. It's not really a positive affirmation, but that's okay. Always believe in yourself. Fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. I like that one too. Never let I'm going to run out of room. This one says, let me put this up a little bit. There you go. This one says, a journey of a thousand leagues begins beneath one's feet. Find joy in the ordinary. Always bring your own sunshine. That is easier said than done, I think, but if you can do it, there's this girl I know, and I love introducing her to new people, because she is such a bubbly, loud bundle of sunshine, and I love watching people react to her. It's, it's a really beautiful thing. They always have something to say about her, and, and normally it's really positive about like wow you know it's just I love it's wonderful there is nothing permanent except change when was the last time you did something for the first time oh we're gonna set that aside for myself strive for progress not perfection prove them wrong Make today great. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Don't look back. You're not going that way. I have a sign that says this in my room. I think that's, um, you know, really good for me right now is to stop thinking about what I could have done, what I should have done, and beating myself up for my mistakes that I made, um, you know, I'm learning how to forgive myself for my past. It's not always an easy thing. I'm telling you, therapy. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. I like that. We're not going to read all of these, but don't wish for it. Work for it. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. I like that one. Let's see. Let's put it here. The best view comes after the hardest climb. You must be the change you see, you want to see in the world. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. I love stargazing. I, uh, I always wanted to find someone with a big truck and put a mattress in the back of it and just go out in the summer and stargaze, preferably when the fireflies are out. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Mm. I like that one. So many times we settle for what we're used to and what is okay and what's working for the time and, and sometimes even things that are good and we miss out on something better. Even if we don't know there's something better out there, it's out there. The world is a vast place. Oh, I love this one. Life is 10% what happens to me, and 90% how I react to it. Whew, I am learning that one. So much power we have in how we choose to react, and I have got some work to do on that. 
Life is the sum of your choices. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. I love this one. This is actually, um, for me and my channel, this is definitely my, um, what I keep coming back to. I don't need it to be super fast. I don't need change to happen. I honestly don't care to be a face that everyone recognizes. That sounds a little awful to me, honestly. But it is, um, you know, you put effort into something you want to see results, right? The only way to have a friend is to be one. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. How many more should I read, you guys? Storms don't last forever. They do not last forever. I'm running out of room. A little progress each day adds up to big results. Focus on being productive instead of busy. Ooh, that hits a little hard. <laughs> what the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Oh gosh. <laughs> a mind is like a parachute. It does not work. intense. That's why I like traveling so much. It um, shows me even just the little things, grocery stores, how different countries set up their grocery stores is different, not in major ways necessarily, although some, but and it's fascinating to see what really works with some and what doesn't with others. And I don't know, I just, I love seeing all the differences and seeing, and there's not one way to do something. You are the designer of your own destiny. This one's just sunny days ahead. That's, I mean, that's great, but not really inspiring. <laughs> Every day is a chance to get better. Don't waste it. Oh, yes. I love these. I think I I read this one. Maybe not. I'm confused. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. I thought I read that already, but maybe not. Always find time for the things that make you feel happy to be alive. You guys, yes, on the money. You only get one life. And we're here for such a short amount of time. Find the things that make you happy, and if it doesn't make you happy, walk away. I mean, of course, you got it within reason, you know. But yeah, walk away from the things that make you miserable. Do not stay in that awful job that you hate. Do not stay with friends that make you miserable and bring you down. Walk away. Do more of what makes you happy. Sometimes we're tested not to show our weaknesses, but to discover our strengths. Oh my gosh. So, I keep telling stories, but I really feel like last year this um, relationship status change for me showed me so many things. I'm going to kind of open up a little bit and I get a little personal. I thought for the longest time that I could not have a baby. Um, not physically, but mentally. I really, truly believed in my core that if I had a baby, I would commit suicide. Um, I already have depression, and I really just thought that that would, postpartum depression would get me, and it wouldn't be fair to the baby that I just brought into the world to abandon it. So, I really, really, really held on to that belief, and what's fascinating is 
going through this relationship breakup that I did, I realized how strong I really am. And I realized if I wanted to, with the right person, I absolutely could have a baby and I would be fine and postpartum would not get me. God, it's so silly when I think about it now, but that was such a core belief of mine for a long time. Anyways, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. You'll see it when you believe it. It's going to be a long video, I'm sorry. In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. Is that not the truth or what? I have regretted so many moments that I didn't act or say or yeah there's only a few that I regret acting and we won't get into those nothing worth having comes easy don't look back you're not going that way no I know I saw that somewhere else cause there's duplicates just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. Walk away. Walk away from drama when you can, you guys. You will never have this day again, so make it count. I feel like I gotta stop because I haven't even written and this video is getting really long and I've got stuff I gotta do. So, okay. We have all of these in front of me, so um, I'm going to just pick 10 at random and I'm going to write them down and uh, we're going to go from there. So I really, you know, the ones I connected with that I think are, um, you know, what I'm going to write is that selfish. So sometimes we're tested. We're going to do that one. Do more of what makes you happy. I love that one. Um... Don't put the key to your happiness in someone else's pocket. I love that. Um, you will never have this day again, so make it count. I love that. Um, you are the designer of your own destiny. Oh, let's see, there's so many. Oh, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. I love that one too. Uh, this one's good too. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. So how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 three more. Three more. Okay. Um, uh, t -t 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 -t. Oh, I like this one. Fear killer kills more dreams than failure ever could. So we're at eight. In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. That's nine. Um, let's see. Strive for progress, not perfection. How about those? So, I'm going to move all of these out of the way now. And I'm going to use my horrible handwriting and we will, we will write some of these a little bit messy and upside down and all that, but here we go. Let's see, I guess I could just, I have to fold it in half, don't I? So I guess I'll put it on the bottom half of this. So, actually... How do I want to do this, you guys? Let's fold and see what it looks like. Okay, so if I'm putting it in the envelope like this, do you want it to have pop up and say it right here? I think so. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, sorry in advance for my horrible handwriting. So strive for progress, not perfection. I 
again, my handwriting is awful, and I decided to capitalize every letter. I'm not sure why I decided that, but that's what we're doing. Okay, and this one might be cramped. In the end, we only points for all of these because why not? Why not? Else 
that's such a good reminder, man. You create your own happiness. Be your own advocate. Do not let anybody steal your mojo. Don't mind my inconsistent capitalization of the letters. Last one, you guys, and then I swear you can go to sleep. When it rains. If you want me to send one to you, let me know. And look at these sent out in the mail soon. Thanks. I know this is a really weird off brand video, but um it's the toll drum, so that's what I call the next two months, January and February are the toll drums for me, so I'm just trying to get through it and help other people get through it as well. You're so loved. 